Hi everyone, it's Lisa from I Dream in Soap. Welcome to my channel and thanks for dropping by. Now today's soap is going to be another all natural soap and I'm going to be using lavender in the soap today. So I'm going to use natural colours that go along with sort of the lavender feel. So the first thing I'm going to be using as a colourant is some Alkanet Root. Now my Alkanet Root I've actually done is an oil infusion and I've had it infusing for about six months. You can do a hot infusion and that makes it infuse a lot quicker. I'm going to leave a link to a video where I've talked a little bit more about infusions in that if you want to find out a little bit more detail. Now, the mad thing I think with Alkanet Root is when you do it as an infusion in oil, it actually has a nice sort of cherry red colour. But once we add it to the soap and the lye, it turns into a purple. Next, I'm going to be using some activated charcoal. I don't want to blacken my soap. I'm going to use it at quite a low rate so I can get just a nice tint of grey. And then lastly, I want a lovely brightish blue colour, so I'm going to be using some indigo powder. Now, as I've already mentioned, I'm using lavender essential oil in my soap, and I get mine from Mystic Moments in the UK. Now, because I'm using an oil infusion, I do need to split my soap oils out. The big jug has my full mixture of oil in it and that's going to have about three quarters of my soap in it and the small jug has all of my oils in but none of the olive oil because my Alkanet is infused in the olive oil that I need for this soap. So now by just adding this in I've now brought my oil blend up to what I need and I've also added that Alkanet. And can you see how it's this lovely cherry red colour at the moment? But once we start mixing that in with the lye, that's going to turn into a dark purple colour and then be a lovely purple in our end soap. So as I move on to the other three quarters of my soap batter and my lye, I'm just going to mix them together very lightly. So a little stir with the spatula. I am going to stick blend. I always stick blend my soap. I never bother with hand mixing, but I do have a blender that has a nice low power setting on it. So I find it quite safe to stick blend. Now at this stage, I'm not even trying for emulsion, let alone a trace. It's really, really important for the design that I want to do that my batter is really fluid right up to the point that it goes into the mould. So here I'm just making sure it's blended together. I'm not going to give it a chance to sit still and split out. I'm going to quickly divide it into the individual pots that I want to mix in those colours. Now if you do this, it's fine. But you do need to make sure that if you are going to start not getting to emulsion deliberately, you need to make sure you're keeping everything thoroughly mixed. Otherwise, you can end up with some separation and all sorts of problems in your soap. And also, you do want to make sure that by the time you are putting this into your mould, that you have got a proper emulsion. I always like to make sure I've got at least a light trace. Now the reason I'm just staying at a just beyond emulsion phase at this point is because I've still got a lot of mucking around to do. I've got to weigh and split out my batter evenly. I've then got to colour each portion and then also do the bit with the Alkanet root in as well and get that all sorted before anything starts to thicken up. So I've just weighed the total amount of my batter that I've got taken away the weight of the jug and now I'm just going to split this bit into three even parts. And with those done I can now go back to my alkanet oils and add the lye solution to them and again give that a very light mix together. Mm -hmm. 
And then onto my other colours. So first of all, my activated charcoal. Now normally to get a black, I'd use activated charcoal at a rate of one and a half teaspoons per pound of oil. At the diluted rate, that would be one and a half tablespoons. But here I just want a grey, so I'm just going to use half a teaspoon of my diluted activated charcoal in this batter. For my indigo, I always predisperse it in some water so that it mixes in nicely with the soap. I don't really like predispersing things in water, but this is a very small amount of indigo, so it's not going to cause any problems with glycerin rivers or anything. And I'll typically use my indigo at a rate of 1% of the oils I'm trying to colour. And then finally, I'll just leave that last bit of soap batter plain. And after saponification, my batter is really quite white. So that'll be a nice white colour. OK, so just pop in that essential oil. These are even amounts of batter, so I'm just going to evenly divide it between the four batters. And then I'll just give everything a final stir round. And what I'm doing at this point is just checking that everything's properly emulsified and I'm looking for that star of a light trace. If I'm not there yet, then I will just let the batter sit and wait till it gets to that stage. I won't stick blend it anymore. OK, so for my pour, I'm going to do a variation on a Taiwan swirl. So as you can see, I've got my acrylic mould. I get mine from Custom Craft Tools in the US. I've got my dividers in and I'm just going to pour this very fluid batter into the dividers, keeping each of the colours separate. When you're using dividers, always just hold them down a little bit at the start and pour a little bit of batter into each divider. What that does then is it stops the soap from creeping underneath the dividers. Because if you just fill up one divider fully, it can flood underneath the base of your soap. By putting a little bit of soap in each one, then that forms little extra walls and stops any spread of the soap. And once you've got a little bit in, you can then fill up the rest of those slots between your dividers. Now do be conscious with any technique where you use dividers that you won't get as much soap in as you do when you don't use dividers. So either you want to make up less soap batter or what I will do is I will make up the same amount of soap batter as I want because I don't want my soap loaf to be shorter than normal and then I will add some more after I've removed my dividers. Now, I have actually made excesses amounts of batter deliberately because I want to make some little samples of this soap as well. Okay, so now I'm just going through and pulling out those dividers. I am scraping them down, certainly something with a technique where you've just got straight lines with your dividers. Spend a little bit of time and scrape those dividers down and you can use that batter in your soap. Don't forget to tint those end bits out as well. And then you can see that my level has dropped a little bit, so I'm just going to very carefully add back some extra soap onto those lines. Now, if I wanted a soap with perfect straight lines, you know, along it, I wouldn't do this because this is going to ruin those lines a little bit. But we're going to drag a skewer through all this anyway, so this is going to be absolutely fine and we can top up that soap and get it to the right height that we want. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to do a very thin Taiwan swirl with this soap. So I'm going to keep my drag bits with my skewer very close to each other. Now if you use something thin like I'm doing here, you're not going to have a huge amount of dragging between the colours and mixing of the colours. If you want those colours to pull into each other a lot more, then use something thicker like a lolly stick or a popsicle stick to get those drag lines going through. I wanted my lines to be nice and thin rather than those thicker types of Taiwan swirls that you get. And then once I've gone up and down along the length of the mould, I'm just going to drag around the edges. And what that does, it gives some sort of bend, like sort of turns the Taiwan swirl more into sort of an S pattern rather than straight up and down. And then I just want to modify mine a little bit by putting an extra swirl going down the centre. And then once that's done, I will, as normal, sea pop my soap. And that's especially important when you're using natural colorants. Sea popping them, forcing that gel does make those colorants come out a lot better than if you don't gel them or even stop them going through gel. So into my preheated oven, 170 degrees F, 75 degrees C. Turn the oven off as the soap goes in and leave it there overnight. And then let's have a look at our soaps the next day. Now remember with any type of Taiwan swirl, I know mine was rather modified, you want to see the design on a horizontal bar of soap. So you don't want to cut the loaf as you normally would in slices. So the best way to get a horizontal cut is to take your loaf, think about how long you want those bars to be and divide your loaf up. So for me, that's dividing it into three portions. And then you're going to take those portions and you're going to measure and slice through those horizontally. Now I want these to be some really lovely chunky bars so I'm literally just going to cut these in half to get those nice size bars. So here's the cut going through the centre and you can see that those natural colours have come through really quite well. We've got that activated charcoal moving into the purple colour and then that nice bright blue from the indigo and then ending up with the white on the right hand side. And that white, if you remember, was just the colour of the natural soap batter. There was no titanium dioxide or anything added. And then here are some final pictures of the soap. Now these photos have been taken three months after the soap was cut. So as you can see with the natural colorants, they're still holding up really well. I hope you've enjoyed this video, everyone. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see what I'm making in the future, then why not subscribe to my channel? And if you've got any questions or comments, then please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy soaping!